next oh, we got the Ravens mic'd up now back with these more mic'd up videos you know what I'm saying if y'all want more of these mic'd up videos hit that like button hit that sub button now you already know the deal you know what I'm saying get your drinks get your snacks you feel me we know we got the uh -huh. ah ha ah. ha <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Green screen because it's the lettuce. But I don't got my stuff set up though. But before we start the video, all right? Because I had a lot of y'all, um, which if you haven't seen my reaction to the Ravens versus Broncos game, it is on my Patreon, all right? Now, I had a lot of people um, in my comments complaining. Um, and what, let me just give you all a quick rundown of the Patreon. All right. Now, the Patreon number one is to support the channel. Okay. So all the people who are paying for the Patreon is to support the channel. I am a full-time college student. All right. Trying to make it out the hood. You feel me? Um... Now I'm a full-time content curator, all right? So that means my bills are getting paid from this, all right? I'm so grateful to be in this position, you know what I'm saying? But now I have to monetize anything I do, all right? I can't, I can't do things for free no more. I've been doing things for free for the last two years. I've never got paid for none of these reactions, you know what I'm saying? So the Patreon is supporting the channel so I can continue making videos like this, all right? Now... Um, if you cannot pay for the Patreon, then you have to just wait to when I post on YouTube. All right. Any blowouts or any just boring NFL games, it will be on my Patreon. Any exciting games, close nail biters, those will be on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm not getting paid for most things, I can't just... Cause y'all know what's going go on, go on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? It might look just like normal or like easy to do what I'm doing, but it's a lot that go on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, hey, bro, just support the channel. You know what I'm saying? All y'all hating ass niggas who just want to hate. Bye. Why are you even here, bro? You know what I'm saying? It literally just be people who literally just want to hate. That's literally like why are you even watching like if you don't like what i do why are you even watching me like it's a million trillion different youtube channels a billion videos getting uploaded every second of the day to youtube but you decide to take your time out your day to devote your time to talking shit to me come on bro all right come on all right now like I said, it's only five dollars, or it's only five dollars for the Patreon. You get all the exclusive reactions, or it's three dollars for just individual games. All right, that's how I run down. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all was mad at me because I didn't post a Broncos game. It was a blowout, bro. It was a blowout. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it was. All right, it's not. It's not. It don't matter what team it is, bro. I I, I put Lions games on there. I put Ravens games on there. Put any game. It don't matter what what game it is, bro. If it's a boring game, then it's going on Patreon. Or if it's a blowout, then it's going on Patreon. That's just what it is. That's what it is. Anyways, though, long reaction. You feel me? Sit back, relax. Also, y'all did say y'all do y'all do like the uh, vibe of just like the you know movie night type stuff. That's what we do on Patreon. We do movie nights. You know what I'm saying? TV shows, movies. Criminal psychology. Literally, if you're not on Patreon, you missing out, bro. That's just what it is. You're missing out. You know what I'm saying? I take Patreon seriously. Like that's like my that's like my child. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is my number one child, my oldest child. You feel me? But now I have a new child. <laughs> baby child. You feel me? Patreon, my baby child. You know what I'm saying? Newborn infant. Anyways, though, let's hop in this video. I don't even have a fork. Better, all around. That's all. All the people that work so hard to make the uniforms look so good. Our job is to help them do their job. You know, there's all these things to try to help them perform at their best. Showtime. 
Today we're having our annual trick or treat event. Are you gonna eat all of our candy? No. Yeah. 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 Make a wish is one of those special things. I love everything that has to do with building the best football team that we can be. Deontay Johnson traded to the Baltimore Ravens. Our guys work hard. They're excited. It's a home game. We have a lot at stake, and we can't wait to get out there and play. Beautiful Sunday! Football weather, baby! Let's come on! Let's smash from the first now to the last! Big vibes today. For us, just going through that adversity and, and finding ourselves, just being a more complete team, I think that we've gotten better at focusing on the detail. Ravens have dominated Denver here today. I know how good we are and how good we're going to be, and I can see in my mind where we're going. Go, go, go! I just want to play our best football. It happens starting right now. Everybody good with that? All right, let's have fun doing it. That's all game all day. Oh, Air oh. game. What a play by Zay Flowers. This ain't nothing, man. Let's just keep it going. Keep our head focused. Keep our eyes on the prize, man. Get ready for Thursday. Family on two, one, two. Bam! Yes, sir. W production, man. No cap. Literally movies every time I react. The Ravens pick up their fifth consecutive victory as they knock off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight at Raymond James Stadium. Final score. Oh, yeah. I, I actually Ravens do want to. Uh, what do y'all. Let me know y'all opinion. Okay. About the, the, the Browns game. All right. How did y'all lose? How did y'all lose? Please let me know. One. Buccaneers 31. What, what? Playing Monday let night, we got back at about 3 in the morning. The jerseys came back here. Jerseys have to be washed, repaired, back on the rack by Wednesday evening, no matter what the week is. When it's a short week like this, you kind of, you just condense it all together. From early Tuesday morning, to Thursday, that's when we're turning around and getting everything back ready to go for the following game. So Monday night, they fly back. They're not here till four. And so firemen generally will stay overnight sometimes to try to get the cleaning started. The uniforms will come back on the plane. Then we'll start processing, washing the, uh, the dirty ones. We'll wash them in with soap and water once or twice. Then we'll pull them out. Then we'll have to start using a chemical to try to get the real hard stains out. Wow. The white jerseys are challenging because, one, they are the hardest to get clean, and they show all your sins. You have a lot of green stains. Hopefully, it's just grass. So that's the, probably going to be the hardest to get out. Once I get them back, then it's immediately me sorting through, marking all of the repairs. I will go through and pick out any small holes or abrasions or marks or things that throughout the jerseys. Wow, so they don't have just like, they don't they don't have new jerseys? I thought they had like, they has got new jerseys. I mean, and like a billion dollar corporation? So they be using the same exact jerseys every single week? That's kind of crazy. The small holes because they turn into really big holes once these guys start uh, smashing into each other, right? We'll go through, pick all the repairs, and then we trim all the loose threads and shave and and try to just make them look brand new again. We try to get that all in basically a day because then tonight we are going through and then packing them up to get to put on the truck. There's probably a handful of guys that the jersey just fits and it's great. And so then that makes it easy. And so you just trim it up and then it's done. But for a lot of these guys, there's a lot of customization into it. It is like a custom suit. There's a lot of things she can do and has done to help them and kind of get, and also making it functional. If the guys feel like they need more mobility or they need to reach and be able to get into this position, that's all stuff she can kind of do with all the alterations they do back there. But like, as you see on this one, we have, this is an open, open hem. There's no elastic in here, so it's not gonna be tight around his waist. It'll fit more like a t-shirt. Um, but then it's still, you know, form fitting everywhere else. It's a little stuff like that, that um, each guy gets to kind of figure see, out. See, I, 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 I like that. Like what That's why I like right there. I hate that tight That's over your belly. That's also the exciting belly. part about it. You get new challenges and try to figure out how to make it work where we're at with everything. If it works for the guys, 
and it's dual for us, it works for us too. But if it's too loose, you don't want it too loose, you don't want to be pulled down by your jersey. If it's, if the neck is too open, if you know there's all these like Backs. things to try to help them perform at their best. Our bro, I remember bro, oh my God, cause you gotta think about it. Especially like certain games, it'd be like y'all wearing like, like I just remember like wearing all white. Cause usually like all white, you wouldn't wear that. But it'd be like some specific games where we're like all white. You know what I'm saying? Just white out. Just trying to look sweet as possible. And I remember, bro, my jersey used to be so tight. Like, I'm telling you. Because, like, when they have the jersey. Like, first of all, they make the jerseys. And they they, 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 don't, they don't, like, make a new jersey for you, really. It's, what, it's, it's really whatever it used to be. You know what I'm saying? So, especially they're not customizing the jersey. Like, how they doing it. Fuck no. They is not customizing no jersey for you. So, you get a jersey. It's, that's what you got. You know what I'm saying? So you literally, your pants could be tight. Your jersey could be tight. Remember, think about it, your practice jersey really be like loose. You know what I'm saying? Be normal, just like practice jersey, whatever. But as soon as you get that game jersey, that motherfucker tight, bro. I'm just, I don't know why it's like that, but that should be tight, bro. I remember then, then I remember I used to have a uh, tape. So it, the tape on my wrist, tape on my ankles and stuff. So you really could walk out there just feeling like a robot. <laughs> Stiff as hell. No cap. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all got like all the new um, you know, y'all might put new pads on. You feel me? It it looks sweet, but when you talk about actually running around and like you, cause you kind of gotta break it in almost. You gotta break it in, but how you gonna break in new pads during the game? It's too late at that point, bro. You already planned. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta wait till like fourth quarter for all your stuff to be loose and for you to be really comfortable with with everything on. Their job. So it's crazy and how stuff like that really be like work, affecting where we're at with everything works for us too. But if it's too loose, you don't want it too loose. You don't want to be pulled down by your jersey. If it's if the neck is too open, if you know there's all these like things to try to help them perform at their best. Our job is to help them do their, their job, and the better they do, that that makes us feel better because then it feels like we're doing our job. All the people that work so hard to make the uniforms look so good. I mean, you talk about Ebony and her group of seamstresses and the great job they do. All these people around our, our facility on game day, they need to get a big shout out because they really do, you know, help everything go, help everything tick. These guys are in, in here before us and after us, right? My hat goes off to them. W. For the second time this year, the Ravens face a division opponent. Winning division games on the road is super valuable because it's really hard to do. The AFC North in general, you know those six games that you play in the AFC North are all going to be tough. Excited about this division game against a really good team. You know it's going to be physical. That's how they build the teams here in the AFC North. It's football in its purest sense. You know you're going to get a tough, physical, close game. It's the way every one of them is. I guess the Bronx. time over with. Let's do it, A9. Under pressure, throws underneath the pressure, complete Isaiah Likely, 20, 15, Likely to the 10. Not exactly a barn burner, more of a patience burner. As oh. The Browns have been very patient offensively, and the Ravens have come up with two big stops in the red zone, forcing Cleveland to settle for field goals. A play, Kyle. Uh, it's a good play. 6-3, Browns in front of the Ravens. The Browns looking at a third and 15. Kylie! And the Ravens dive on it at the Kylie. Line. The biggest play of the game so far as Trenton Simpson comes up for the fumble recovery. Wow. Show us! Good job, folks. We got to look what? That's why you go, 14. And the Ravens will have it first and 10 at the Browns 25 yard line. Jackson takes the snap. Blitz pressure coming. Up Diabetes? And zone. Oh, this was crazy. Angela. Uh, I remember that. Nelson Aguilar makes the grab in front of Denzel Ward, and the Ravens have their first lead of the day. Hey, this is what you can see. One half in the books in Cleveland. It's the Ravens 10, the Browns 6. Good. You know the divisional game going Good. First and foremost, I don't think we executed, you know, at our highest level. 
Batman, we beat ourselves. Jameis Winston facing Blitz. Y'all don't think we executed or you. Which one? You talking about yourself or the team? Don't put your actions on the team. Next day and the next day after that. Hey, we have an opponent coming in to our house, and um, you know that's the next thing we're gonna focus on. We'll uh, get ourselves organized, get back to Baltimore, and start getting ready for Denver next week at home. The Brock Hose, the Brock Hose, the Brock Hose. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I, I hope it turned out all right. This is a locked in moment. You want any more? Yeah. What you want? Oh, okay, gotcha. Thanks for coming on, man. No problem, appreciate it. Yep. So, how you gonna paint on it if you just wrote on it? Oh, I'm not seeing it. We're back at the Ronald McDonald House, uh, third year, and we're here to go give back for the kids and have a Halloween party for them. Check the street. Say thank you. That's it? That's all you want? <laughs> there we go. You. There we go. Send the kids happy, send them a smile, you know, just give them something else to smile about. He's been here two months. Gotcha. This is all he's been in. This is it. This is what has gotten him through. So thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to cry and go now. No. I appreciate it. Give enough candy. That hurt you? A little bit. I am not going to lie to you. The mission of the Ronald McDonald House is to provide a temporary home away from home for kids who have injuries or illnesses of all sorts of types. A, a it's no way. Net for them. We want them to. It's no way. I just watched that, bro. He's or ill. Kids have AirPods in here? Would I give my kid an AirPod? Hmm. That's a good question. Because y'all think about it. A kid, ears, first of all, a kid is developing every day. They're growing every day. Y'all already know what they say about the AirPods. Now, I feel like, no, no, let me, let, me, let me take it back. Let me take it back. Because the AirPod, as long as you're not blasting, I think it's when you blast music in your ear. I think that's really for any headphones. But if you blast music in your ear, especially as a kid, that's bad. So hopefully, hopefully, bro. But I think if she just have an AirPod in and she could just have like listen a little bit, you know, like medium volume, she should be straight. So, this is of all mm. sorts of types of uh, uh, safety. Bro, watch it, bro. We want them to enter those doors and we want to just give them as much love and support as possible to get them through a very challenging time in their life. Sean, it is so great to see you. Thank you. Since last Thank year's you. event, we have been counting down the days until we could welcome you back to the Ronald McDonald House for our annual Halloween party. The day is a chance for our families who are away from home to give them a chance to trick or treat within the safety of the Ronald McDonald House to take some of the worry off, the stress off, and just have fun. Trick or treat? Yeah. What you want? You want some too? Well, Rashad for us is sort of like our Raven's hero. Now, let me know amazing. in the comments. What is y'all favorite thing, favorite candy to get on Halloween? All right, mine. 
Um, favorite candy on Halloween? I'm not gonna lie. If I ever go to one of them rich families and they give out the full Snickers bar, like any candy that's like real candy that you would get from the store, not no fun size, no. I'm talking about an actual Snickers bar or an actual Kit Kat. Uh, actual Twix, oh my God, that's what I want right there. You know what I'm saying? The little, the little mini candy, it'd be all right. You feel me? It's okay. Maybe for the like, cause I feel like that's what it do. Like you, you eat small pieces of candy and you gotta keep eating it, cause it's, it's not that much. You are, you already know, candy don't fill you up. Candy is literally that's what it's made for. It's literally to satisfy your your hunger, but still wants you to eat more and buy more. That's what they. That's like the whole marketing scheme, bro. That's why people be addicted to candy. So they had to eat a little bit of candy. I'm like, dang, that, that tastes good, but I'm still hungry. Well, I might as well buy some more. Well, I might as well buy some more. You feel me? So I feel like that's what they do with the, especially on Halloween. Shh. But let me know in the comments, though, what's your favorite candy uh, uh, for Halloween? When the kids get to see the players and Rashad come in, I mean, they talk. Bottom of her hearts. Double you. Double you. Double. Every day is a great day for football, and our guys had a great day for football. Appreciate the way we practiced, getting on point for a very tough game Sunday against the Broncos at our place. We're looking forward oh, to the hell is Y'all weren't in practice? Play the game. Can't let one game beat you twice. So it's about moving on and uh, preparing this week for a good Denver team that's coming to town. I mean, I was obviously, I was pissed about it after the game. Uh, I was probably the most mad out of anybody. You know, I feel like uh, as part of being a good football player, you gotta let the good stuff go, let the bad stuff go, move on. I feel like I've done that, and I'm ready to play the Broncos. I ain't gonna lie, Bo Nix. Bo uh, Nix is hard, I ain't gonna lie. Man. He's certainly young, he's learning on, as he goes as far as the region and all that, but moves around, makes plays, gets away from the rush. I think he's probably made more, more scramble tacklers miss in the backfield probably than any quarterback in the league and made a lot of plays that way too. So yeah, talented guy, we're gonna have to be at our very best. I love everything that has to do with building the best football team that we can be. A, because I love it. And B, because I know how good we are and how good we're gonna be. And I can see in my mind where we're going. And so I can see in my mind, let's go to work on these things. That's what we're doing, all right? For us, just going through that adversity and, and finding ourselves and just being a more complete team, I think that we've gotten better at focusing on the details and really just focusing on doing your job week to week. And uh, I think it's been the biggest thing we've, we've learned. Keep pressing, average to good, good to great, meetings, walkthroughs, practice, and stuff. Keep it simple, get to work, get ready to play this team. Deontay Johnson traded from the Carolina Panthers to the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know who that is. Deontay uh, is a guy, obviously, we, we know a little bit about, you know, playing against him uh, all those years with the Steelers. Was in Carolina, uh, studied him on tape, looked good. Out here today in practice, looked good. 
and uh, he's in the process of trying to pick up the offense and be ready to contribute as soon as he can. Where would they need me to be at right now? Um, and uh, that'd be my focus. Our guys work hard. They're excited. It's a home game. We have a lot at stake and we can't wait to get out there and play. Yeah, I think there's no other crowd like the Baltimore Ravens crowd. They're gonna always have us fired up. They're one of the loudest, if not the loudest fans in the nation, right? And it's fun, it just gives us extra energy to go fly around and make plays. I just wanna play our best football. It happens today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, starting right now. Are we good with that? All right, let's have fun doing it. Let's go to work. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh my god, that caught me off, bro. That caught me off guard, okay. <laughs> that caught me off guard, bro. I think it's all serious and shit. Just the, I see this nigga walk around a corner. <laughs> Yo! Showtime. Yo! Today we're having our annual trick-or-treat event here at the training facility where full-time employees, players, coaches can bring their little goblins and little they go goblins. around the facility to 11 different stops. Is bro dressed up as Ronaldo? Yeah. Is bro supposed to be messy? And they go around the facility. That's messy. <gasps> messy! Facility to 11 different stops. Say hi. Wave to the camera. You guys ready to do this? You guys ready to go? Yes. All right, let's go in. Come on. We love having the event because it brings the families here to us at the facility. Because other times, you know, dad might not get home until late after practice. They're gone, you know, every Sunday, sometimes Monday, sometimes Thursday for games. And so it's a way for them to spend time with their family, as well as see where mom and dad work. We are ah, right. NASA astronauts. So, ready for the mission at hand. <laughs> Are you going to eat all of our candy? No. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's great to be able to see them, and you never know based on what day of the week is, you're going to be able to go trick-or-treating or not. So, be able to do this and get dressed up and have fun. It's As a family, it's amazing. It's a great, great deal. All in all, today we're planning on about 400 kids and parents coming through. What? Open up your bags. Sally, what do you think is going to be next? The ocean at Halloween? I don't know if they're going to have ocean at Halloween. Whoa! Guys, look at this! This is unbelievable! Can you believe it? It's minions! Alright, keep rolling through. Happy Halloween! Thank you, happy Halloween! Guys, look, there's another space family! Oh yeah, <laughs> man! Sweet! <laughs> you guys have fun coming to Daddy's office? This is the first time we've done it, so it's amazing. Like, I feel... You know, Thursday rolls around, we'll probably go to three or four houses and then go home. This is great. We get to do it with Daddy. We get to see all of our friends. Happy Halloween! Knock the fuck out, bro. <laughs> is that crack? Hey, a crack on the ceiling? So here it is today. Winning drive? So I like that. We do make a wish here. You're going to love it today. It's Liam. 11 from Pennsylvania. Ravens are his favorite sports team. Who do you think his favorite player is? He's Lamar for Halloween yesterday. Yo, Lamar for Ashton, Halloween. Let's go. He's also 11 from South Carolina. Loves the Ravens. Normally we have one, we have two. So let's do a great job, man, with these kids today. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy it. It's great perspective. Let's make a difference. Yo. Yeah, baby. Are you excited? Yeah. We'll show you guys kind of right, some flowers. The spaces of our home here in Owings Mills. Like the end? Here again, we sit there. That's fall. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> so. <laughs> Make a wish is one of those special things. I just see these kids and they're going through so many hard things so many times and their joy for life, their joy to be there, the ones that want to come see us. I mean, to me, that's just like the ultimate honor. Ouch. Ouch. Me! <laughs> ah, got his ass. You know, a young person going through what they're going through, their wish is to come spend some time with the Ravens and be around our guys. I just, to me, that's uh, that's the ultimate thing, you know. So you want to make the most of it. You want to make sure that they enjoy it and have a great time. What's up, buddy? Hi, Justin. Hi. Justin. Thought I heard you guys coming by. And this is Ashton. What's hey, up, dude? Justin. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? All right, so we have two amazing guests here, right? Ashton, right? Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. 
Bro has pointed at my bro. Bro has pointed straight at him though. It's crazy. Bro said I don't care about nobody else. He found his target right now. He's staring dead at. He's staring directly at Lamar. He said, I want you. You <laughs> Hey man, W Lamar. You got them grills in. Okay. We're so proud to have you here. Means so oh, much. You got them in. You're Ravens fans, and that you love these guys. You do, right? All right. So we're gonna put some pressure on you. You're gonna be first, Ashton. You look like a really good athlete to me. That's what I'm saying. Are you a good athlete. Yeah. Just can't deny it, right? You can't hide yeah, it. Yeah, my You can't hide it. You can't hide it. Yeah. Why do you love the Ravens? I love them because I seen them on TV playing good. Yeah, that's a good reason right there, right? right there. Why do y'all love the Ravens? Let me know in the comments. All right, how about we get an Ashton on three, because we love Ashton. One, two, three. Ashton! All right, all right. All right, Liam, it's your turn, buddy. You ready? Why do you like the Ravens? Um, Lamar Jackson? They're still fun to watch. Because they're fun to watch. Yeah! You got it right. You got it right. Liam, we love you too, man. We're proud you're here. How about we get a big Liam on three? One, two, three. Liam! Now, here's what we're going to do. This is pretty cool, what we're going to do. We always break, all right? So you got to think of a word. You're going to start it off, as like a word. Whatever the word would be. Yeah, oh, okay, all right. Is that Lamar? Lamar. Tell us what the word is. Oh, uh, one, three. One, two, three. You just said his own name. I would say my own name. CTO3. Liam, come on, guys. You're gonna get a hand up in the air, then you gotta think of a good word. You Big booty bitches outside. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put your hand up. You ready? All right, what is it? On three, what's the word gonna be? Football. Here we go. Let's go. Football, 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 football on three. So you're gonna say as loud as you can, football on three, okay? Football. On three. One, two, three. Football. Yeah. Yeah. Right, great job. Great job, buddy. Great job. You're a great guy. Yeah. You have fun today? Mm-hmm. Uh, Thanks for coming to hang out with us. You're welcome. Yeah, you gonna root us on this weekend too? Yeah. I hear. Okay, we'll count on it. Team the Ravens president right here are gonna be are gonna be honorary captains. Yeah. W, bro. All that positivity, how could y'all not win? Bank Stadium. It's the Ravens and the Denver Broncos this afternoon. The Ravens at five and three. The Broncos at five and three. I know the Broncos at five and three. We hey. make plays in this circle, bro. Let's celebrate with each other, man. We work too hard, bro, to not celebrate these plays. So when we make them and we don't make them, let's celebrate. Squad in, squad in, hit squad. I hear that me a lot, but you never. Mm-mm. Learn your meaning. You're not getting me. Hey, football weather, baby. Ah, yeah. From the first snap to the last. Hey, and it ain't going to be easy. But what's easy, man? Them, they don't do. One, two, three. He said, but what's easy? I was having here. I'm going to say, honey, I'm going to say, honey, I'm going to say, He's a Tory. Derrick Henry has 100 yards or more rushing in all three losses. Henry has fewer than 100 yards rushing. This Baltimore Ravens. So you mean to tell me Lamar, bro has to, I keep saying Lamar, he has to get 100 yards for y'all to win the game? In all five of the Ravens wins this season, Tory, Derrick Henry has 100 yards or more rushing. Wow. So is the Ravens getting carried by Derrick Henry? In all three losses, Henry has fewer than 100 yards rushing. This Baltimore Ravens offense being the number one offense in the league. If they protect the ball, there isn't a team in this league that can beat them. Let's go, Monk. Let's go through them today. Big vibes today. Positive vibes all day. Yes, Encourage everyone. You feel me? That's what he sound like? I'm with you, boy. Let's go. Let's go. I thought this thing was the biggest, baddest. Bro, are you serious? Hey. I'm with you, boy. Let's go. Let's go. I really genuinely thought this nigga sounded like a monster, bro. Or at least it just has some. You know what I'm saying? 
that 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 real deep voice. You hear? Why does bro sound like Mickey Mouse? So encourage everyone. You feel me? Hey. With you, boy. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
ninth straight week. Amazing tough run by Derrick Henry. He broke two tackles, and there's a reason why he's tops in the league right now with runs after contact. Ten rushing in touchdowns. History, not team history, NFL history. Let's execute. Wait, what? Ten seven consecutive seasons. Huh? Ten rushing touch. So ten rushing touchdowns. I, mean, I guess. I guess that is hard to get, huh? But I would... Really? Like, this would say at 20, I would have been like, okay. Or like 30, 40. But 10 rushing touchdowns in 7 consecutive seasons? So all you gotta do is get 10 touchdowns in 7 seasons. Or every season. How hard is it to get 10 touchdowns? And you're the, like, power back, running back? I mean, I guess. Never mind. I, I, I think I can understand. I can understand. Never mind. Because it's some games you might not even score. Uh, you can you can have 300 yards rushing and still not score. <laughs> Literally. So, I guess, yeah, 10 TDs. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I understand. Player, that's it just, it just seemed low. In NFL history, not team history, NFL history. Let's execute. Keep going, Hanny. Keep going, Hanny. <laughs> Off the play fake, Lamar drops, sets his feet, fires a strike. Zay Go Flowers ahead. has it at the 45 of Denver. Jukes a man, gets to the 40. My boy Rug Rat. down there, flags follow as he was face mounted, <laughs> going to the ground. <laughs> Go, go, go! The six yards Lamar missed on the blown offensive play are the six yards that they're short, so the kicking team comes on. Kick on the way, and it is good. When I see bait, I'm like, all right, I'm going to let bait block him. Then I put it, grab my whole face off. In the middle, while he tackling me, I'm like. Broncos on the board for the first time today, cutting the Ravens' lead now to 10 7. Oh, that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Good field position for Lamar Jackson and the offense to get things started here and see if they can answer Denver's touchdown drive with a touchdown drive of their own. Play action, deep drop, steps up, blocks, fires down the middle. Eight. He's got Zay Flowers with a great grab at the 40 so, yard line of Denver. Y'all know I've been saying this the whole season, okay? We all been trying to understand the wide receiver one, all right? But after the last couple games, I can officially say, I can officially say, Zay Flowers, aka Rugrat, is wide receiver one. All right. Now, like I said, the depth chart don't matter. Okay. Whatever the fucking depth chart. Who cares about the depth chart, bro? You feel me? Whatever depth chart say do not mean. And we talking about actual when they're out there playing. All right. Who is the number one receiver? Who's getting the ball almost every play? Who is the real wide receiver one? You feel me? That's who I'm talking about. Zay Flowers wasn't wide receiver one, bro. He was like wide receiver three. It would be Batman, then it'd be Aglahor, then it'd be Zay. But now, Zay, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Rug rat. Zay Flowers Rug rat. great grab at the 40-yard line of Denver. Lamar takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, wants the ball near side, looking for Hill. He makes the catch at the Oh, no, no, that's wide receiver two right there. Oh, he wide receiver two. He's looking to the right, okay. looking there, under pressure, scrambling right. to the right, pumps one, throws back in the end zone. Touchdown, Zay Flowers. Rugrat. And the Ravens answer Denver's touchdown with a touchdown of their own. Right. 
Bro, let's, oh, I remember saying this actually in a reaction. This, this is what I love about Lamar Jackson now, and what we understood when I when I started watching Lamar Jackson's upbringing. Um, everybody called him a running back and stuff like that. He only to play quarterback. Maybe he could play DB or receiver. He's not. A, he's not a QB. That was all the hate that was surrounding his name. You feel me? And. I love to see now that he really is a true quarterback, bro. He always looking past first. Because right here is a perfect perfect example of how he could have really scored this on his own. We all know he could have scored it. Look at it. Let's, let's see this angle right here. Look at this. This is wide open. You mean tell me Lamar Jackson can't score this? We all know Lamar Jackson can score this with his eyes closed, my nigga. Literally. No one will stop him, bro. Literally. But Lamar Jackson being quarterback, pass first, you know what I'm saying? He's throwing touchdowns. This that's a true quarterback right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Which everybody that was old, all that hating shit was old. Everybody know he a true quarterback now. It's no more hate. You feel me? Only other hate I think he get now is that he can't beat Pat Mahomes. But shit, that's everybody. <laughs> so I mean, shit. Anyways, though, um, he a true quarterback. Okay. I had nothing to do but okay. He definitely could have scored that, but look at it. Come on, bro. He called him Lil Zay. Lil Zay. This nigga Lamar is a YN, bro. I know if you see me lined up, I'll be like this. That's what I was about to do. I, I saw you trying to sell. No, because I need somebody to go like. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. And been, then you go like. Yeah. I would have been lost. Oh, I think I do remember that. I think I do remember that. Come on, defense, stop him right here. So if you're going to stop here and force Denver to kick, you can get the ball back to Lamar with a minute left. If you get this stop here. A minute is more than enough time for Lamar Jackson to work. And now Sean Payton will send the kicking team on for the first time today. Nigga. Keep going, Kyle. Keep going. Keep going, bro. Keep going, man. Watch him do it again. You don't get the next one. Mark Jackson to throw on first down, screen pass Justice Hill. He's got a couple Justice. blockers, crosses the 40-yard line, and is all the way out to the 43. Wait, Justice really turned into a goat. Lamar fakes the blade, handoff, not fires though. down the middle. He's got a man wide open. That's is that Rugrats? Oh, yeah, this is crazy. Flowers to the 10, 5, touchdown! I don't know Jay how the Lord. fuck he did that, but... This is why uh, y'all just... Run. Look at these niggas running into each other and shit. ...have delighted the crowd. Forget the field goal, they got the end zone. What the hell? What a play by Zay Flowers. That right there was Zay Flowers just being an athlete after he caught it. Spinning out of it, not giving up. Big time play by Zay Flowers. No way he'd be screaming his name to say that, bro. Like this football season more lit, bro. The last one. 
we are we seeing more dances this year to expand their lead look the numbers show if you can score last in the first half and first in the second half your chances of winning go up by about 70 percent so a big opening drive here sets the ravens up for success let's get another tutty right here boy yeah well denver came in dialed in on stopping the ravens run game they've limited the ravens to only 24 yards rushing in the first half Gives it to Derrick Henry on first down. He's got a hole. He's across midfield. And Henry all the way down to the Denver 47 yard line. That's good for 13 yards. And a Ravens first down on the longest run play of the day for Derrick Henry. Go! Inside! Now the Ravens facing a third down and 10. And Lamar Jackson scrambling to the right, oh, gets free, he's going to run. He's to the 40-yard line, it steps out of bounds of the Denver 35 with a first down, Raven. Gives it to Henry, right side, big hole. Derrick Henry breaks the tackle, he's to the 25, 20, and he's all the way down to the Denver 18-yard line. First down, Raven. Hey, Gush. Hey, Gush. Derrick Henry has more yards rushing on this drive than the Ravens had the entire first half. Hey, keep going, boy. He'll give it to Henry. Left side, Henry with a hole. Steps over a tackler. He's in. Touchdown, Ravens. Ravens. His second rushing touchdown of the afternoon. Oh, 101st nice of his career. My boy, and kindergarten. His 11th of the season. Was that our first drive in the quarter? That was a long drive. That's first time, dog. Yeah, boy. Hey, you have one sack? I'm just checking. People from Canada just checking. I'm just checking from Canada. I need them both. Ha ha. Two Ravens touchdowns change the shape of the day, 31-10, which means the Ravens defense hey, now has a doing? chance to really work on the rookie quarterback. Bo Nix steps back in the shotgun, backpedaling under pressure. He is hit and sacked back at the 29-yard line. Coming off the edge with his second sack of the day, Tavius Robinson. His first multi-sack game of his young career and it comes at just the right time. Great work, man. Excellent work, guys. That's what got the team work, man. There we go. Hey, it ain't the win, it's the finish. Let's go, let's get this tidy. Denver limited the Ravens to 24 yards rushing in the first half. They're at 89 yards now in the third quarter. Play action. Lamar rolls to the right, throw back to Henry. He's got blockers in front of him. He crosses the 25, 30, 35, 40. Still on his feet and finally taken down to the Ravens' 47-yard line. The Ravens are doing in the third quarter what they usually like to do in the fourth quarter. Just pound it, pound it, pound it, and wear out the opponent. Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, look, he's old. <laughs> Yo. You saw how physical this sport is, bro. Ravens are perfectly happy to take as much time as possible off the clock now. Start just burning clock, eating yards, pounding up points. Lamar takes the snap, rolls out, throws. Pat Ricard, touchdown, Ravens! What a great play call. And Ricard gets in the end zone for the first time this season. 38 to 10 in the third quarter. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Can I get a. I can't get a handshake? Going on, bro. 
For big things. 45 plays on one drive. The off season, he has delivered huge things. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, I know y'all was playing music like this. Rushing for a sixth time this season. Oh. Derrick Henry over 100 yards. He's over 1,000 for the season. And it is no coincidence the Ravens will have six wins in those six games where Henry has rushed for more than 100. Bro, oh, isn't that crazy? He's only the third person in history to score that many touchdowns in seven years. Third person in NFL history. That is crazy. The whole history of the NFL. <laughs> is that Polo G? I think about the that I came back from, bro. And then, like, I really tell myself to respect my talent, bro. Like. Because before I felt like I wasn't going to be like the same or whatever, but like, no, bro, you got that bro. respect your talent and let that sh go. Ravens have dominated Denver here today, 41 10. Ravens approved to 6 and 3. The Broncos fall to 5 and 4. Broncos Benny! not bad. Well, I'll say it's Bo Nix not bad. Come through anytime. Yeah. Come on, we yeah. go to Hawaii, we go wherever. Lamar's arms looking great. I know, bro. Tell I say hi, all right? I will. All right, my boy. Hey, send me your jersey. All right, you send me yours? I got you. Bet. Got Let's you. do it. Love, Love you, bro. bro. Oh. If you don't mind, Juice, Juice has got a word for us. I asked him to give us a word. That's oh. the way to reestablish who we are as a team, offense, defense, and special teams. You trusted each other as brothers, and that was the dominant result. From here on out, know that there's nothing this team can't accomplish. You stood as warriors today. Nice job, men. Congratulations. Stay hungry because we know where we are headed. They doubted and you delivered. They doubted and you delivered, yeah. Juice on three, one, two, three. How about Tavius Robinson, mm. career high, two sacks. Man, I just love this team. I love coming in the building every day. So let's just keep building, doing what we're doing, and let's just keep rolling. Boy. Yeah! Who's got better than us, Dave? Who's got better than us? Nobody. Nobody. Except the Lions. Nobody's got better than this guy. First career interception, our Darius. Tight ass Braves. I ain't really got too much, but uh, defense, we stepped up to the challenge this week. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep the same thing going next week. Uh, well, this week, well, Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. This week, that's right. Yeah, uh, they play today? They play today? I want to know who made the tackles. Oh, we got Shay Hoodie. B Steve, man, stop! B Steve, come on, B Steve! Fourth down, stop! Fourth down, stop! Fourth down, stop! The Bingos! Ooh! Now that's going on. That's going on YouTube for sure. That's going on YouTube. Nate, come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. If it's a good game, if we should, we should. Hey man, sometimes you know, sometimes you gotta cover. Sometimes you gotta come down and you know play the run. So that's, that's what we did. Nigga, what? Like he said, we played the run. So yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Yo, what is going hey, on? Hey, Nick, who's got better than you? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> How about 100 career rushing touchdown? Thanks to the offensive line, tight ends, perimeter blocking. But how about Derrick Henry? Hey, he's going to have a lot of Big hands. Oh, my. Hey, uh, 
uh, recover. Yeah. Um, stay with this momentum. Let's get another win. Yeah. yeah. No cussing, Derek. I, I'll tell you what, man. I don't know. I don't know what this guy's gonna do with all the game balls he's gonna have in his in his house someday. All these balls Perfect in his passer rating. NFL record. NFL record. Fourth of his career. Lamar Jackson. Hey. Let me see them grills. Let me see them grills. Hey, man, let's just keep it going, man, because this ain't nothing, man. Let's just keep it going. Keep our head focused. Keep our eyes on the prize, man. Get ready for Thursday. Family on two. One, two. Hey. Hey, man. I love y'all. Let me know in the comments if you made it this far. Comment the word. W. Mic'd up. I love y'all. Oh, yeah.